you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over all the promos and things I want to see back in Madden 21. Because as you guys do know, EA was very lazy this year. They did screw us out of about, I'd say, at least 5 to 7 promos that we were like I was expecting to get or they teased that we'd get. Or animations were found in the game that they just never finished on. But there was a few promos we didn't get. And a lot of them are some of our favorite ones. So hopefully, I'll shed some light on these. You guys can see them. Hopefully, we'll see them in 21 at least by next gen point. Now, guys, by the time you're watching this, I'm probably already left my state. I'm going to visit some other YouTubers in the Matic community. Be gone for about a week. Should have enough videos pre-recorded just to you know, last me through that week. So, like a time capsule video, I'm already gone. This is uh, recorded in the past. So, you should be seeing this, I believe... Wednesday because I already recorded my Tuesday video so Guys get over to the screenshots. Let's check everything out and just kind of see what I believe we missed out on here We are starting over here all the way on the left as you guys can see Right here. We're going to have The player spotlights promo So in my opinion this promo would have been super cool. It was a late promo last year pretty much It's like all the rookies of that year uh, just get like the, the cards and they talk about how they could how they did and like where they could where were they gonna be better at or what they're good at So like Denzel Ward is a rookie Ward was one of the few rookies to be selected to the Pro Bowl in 2018 He would look to improve on his 53 total tackles 11 passes defended and three interceptions from this season in 2019 Sonny Michelle Who looked to build off his fantastic postseason run so on and so forth So had we gotten it this year, we could have seen some pretty cool cards now in my opinion we're probably going to be hopefully getting it next year. I think they might put a little bit more effort into 21 because of next gen, I hope. So player spotlights for next year, we're going to have guys like Devin Queen. We're going to have guys like, let's see, Joe Burrow. Why am I blanking? The left tackle for the Giants, Thomas. Um, Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Clyde Ed yeah, Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And a few other guys. I'm blanking right now. It's a little bit early. But you guys get the point. Could be super cool. They're all going to be 99s. And the best part about it is that pretty much, you know, every team's going to have a few good rookies. So if you're a fan of any team, you're probably going to get one of your rookies that you had this year. And they're going to have them juiced up. Such as a guy like, let's say, Sam Darnold. Maybe you can get a skate artist now late in the year that you couldn't get before. They're going to be all just get all these types of abilities. It's going to be cool. Next on my list is positional heroes. We guys, now this is this one was weird. We have not got, we have not missed this one in years. Like positional heroes are such a staple in Madden. Like you guys don't even understand. If you've been playing long enough. You know that this goes back to like the Madden 13 days when we had like four star position hero punter Thomas Morstead. Like, it's been around for so long. So, I hope they do bring this back. Positional hero is pretty much that every position gets a card. Kind of like I said, a glorified team of year, team of the year that comes out a little bit after it. And it just covers all the bases on cards that haven't gotten cards yet. And positional heroes, usually one of the later promos, and we got real late this year, never saw it. So, it's kind of depressing. I was really excited for it. Now, I think we will be getting that back next year. I mean, they're probably going to blame COVID. Which I guess is fair, but not really, because you can still... Just, I, I don't imagine the stuff takes that long to make, or they could have just started working on it, you know. We have weeks of nothing. I don't know if weeks of nothing can be substituted with something when you're remote working, but it is what it is, guys. Point being here is that, from what I see here, we need positional heroes back. We need player spotlights. Coming on to the fourth one that we got. Well, first, let me show you some stats. Positional heroes are usually going to be just about as good as player spotlights. I believe player spotlights would come out after positional heroes, if I'm not wrong. They're very they're very close in the timeline. But guys, this card's just amazing. And like I said, they fill positions that haven't been filled yet. So let's say like Russell Wilson hasn't gotten a card since his team of the year. Positional heroes would be a perfect time to give him one. Like Jamal Adams needs a new card. Like they just toss in a bunch of guys per position that haven't gotten upgrades. Like they were really good at making sure that every card progressed throughout the year in Madden. For the most part, Madden 19. Like, they, like literally, they made sure like Levante, David, McKinney, Vander. Like they were getting their 99 overalls to fill out the rest of the game because this year some guys didn't get they, if they didn't have power up expansion this year like a quarter of madden to half of madden players would have just never progressed like guys like zeke guys like mccaffrey thomas got it today like they weren't even they were only 98s now again that's pretty high up but when you want to compete you can't use those cards anymore so we were losing a lot of cards that were, like were actual actually usable which in my opinion is just kind of stupid when you know it's those are the best players. You know, Thomas McCaffrey are two of the best players in the league this year, if not the best wide receiver and running back, let's say combo right there. Those are the two best. And they barely got upgrades. And when they did, their card sucked. It was just really whack for them this year. 
Next, I got Program Stars. Program Stars is one of the most, I think it's one of the latest promos, beyond even those other two. So pretty much so how this works that it goes over all the promos for the year and it picks a bunch of players that were big like big cards for those promos i think that's so cool it's like george kittle had an awesome team of the year promo of card like he was one of our favorite cards in madden for most people so guess what they gave him a 99 tight end pretty much it's like an award ceremony for all you guys who watch the office it's the dundies for the nfl everyone gets a card who was overpowered now i like that so like jack tatum he had an amazing super bowl card so at the end of the year they gave him he was awarded the best super bowl card Champ Bailey awarded the best Ghost of Madden card. Alan Page awarded one of the best legends. Brandon Graham, the ultimate kickoff program. Micah Hyde, the series master program. Charles Suggs, team of the week program. Tyron Smith, Mud Hero. So that's so cool. You just go through every promo. It's, it's like such a nostalgia too. Like imagine like you get a 99 card. Like, wow, I forgot how good that card was. Well, now I got an upgraded version of him. Jimmy Graham, Mutt Monsters. I think this is such a cool feature. For this year, it would have been like, you know, 99 Bo Jackson program star. Throwback to his uh, zero chill Bo Jackson. Or... 99 Steve Young, throwback to his base legend Steve Young. Or no, 99 Marcus Allen, throwback to he was part of the Legends program when he ran over this whole league. I think that would have been super cool. Moving on to the next one, we have Matt um, Madden Blockbuster. So, put this simply, Madden Blockbuster is very similar to uh, this one right here, Program Stars. And, and sort of, so it's pretty much again a award to players, but in a different way. This is like more of a, it's more comical. It's like Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, he is the wide receiver manager He's the marketing and something I can't read that word. He's the marketing and probability. I think manager manager something like that uh, Serious he's the sound as Cam Jansen is a sound designer. Let's see Luke Keekley is going to be the choreographer It's like they're putting together a movie and each, each card has an, an actor or a role in the movie DeAndre Hopkins is the actor the main actor Let's see Des Bryant this one doesn't even this one's old old song doesn't say anything on it but yeah, you guys, I mean, I think you guys get the point on this one. He is the, he's the grip. So all these cards have like a cool little acting role and it's kind of similar to program stars. Like it's kind of just like an overall thing. Now, are they different? Yes, but I believe they did substitute blockbusters for the program star because like, we didn't have that last year. So that could be the case. I don't know. I would, I would be happy with seeing either of the two return. In my opinion, just give me one or the other at this point. Like if, we're, if we even get four out of the seven promos or whatever, I'm, I'm, you know, four out of all the promos I say, or even two, that's a dub because the last two months we've had nothing, right? If you give us a month long, like a month or three week long promo in each month, two, two or three of those promos, I'm happy. I have no complaints. So I don't need all of them. I just need some of them. Preferably one of the award ones because I never get to do, I never have had fun with an award one. Next, we got Campus Heroes. Now, Campus Heroes was always so cool. Campus Heroes pretty much is people who did great, great in college. They were the Campus Heroes. So they don't even have to be great NFL players. They just have to be great college players. So let's say Marks Mariota, 99 overall Campus Hero from the Oregon, uh, Oregon, he was on Oregon Ducks. Now, was he that great in the NFL? No, but he was amazing in college. Kenyon Drake, amazing in college. Uh, what was I saying? Michael James, well, Michael James, apparently amazing in college. Marquise Lee, Gerald Hodges, uh, Will Sutton, Leon Hall. For any of you guys who follow their colleges, you probably think they're amazing. Kenyon Barner, Mike Nugent, Dennis Pitta, Aaron Donald. Now, some of them are gonna be great in the NFL and some of them are great outside of the NFL. It doesn't even matter. Uh, Daquan James. Jaquan Jones, sorry, Julius Peppers, Connor Barwin, Michael Griffin. There were so many. Colt McCoy, Marquise Lee, Trent Richardson. Guys, there were so many good campus heroes. I might be reading some Madden Mobile ones, but you guys get the point. This was such a cool promo. And then for the final one is going to be the Madden Motivator promo. Uh, Madden Motivators was always so cool, not because of the cards you got, but card, these cards had special perks of having them. So let's say like you can get either Earl Thomas or Tyra Matthew, right? So Tyra Matthews is basically 91. Let's say Tyra Matthews is basically 89. I know, sorry. Earl Thomas is a 90 overall. He has really good zone, really good speed. Tyron Matthew, really good zone, really good speed. They're really similar. Who would you pick? If Tyron Matthew was motivated, you pick Tyron Matthew. Because as you guys can see, if you guys can see over here on the right, it might, it might be blocked out. But the cards are given special perks that boost team stats. So Tyron Matthew could have plus two zone coverage for the entire team. So Earl's just a card. Tom Matthew would be way more expensive because he could benefit the whole team if there was one that had plus one speed. It was always so cool, guys. But that pretty much is it for this video, I do believe. So that's about it. We're towards the end here. Covered all the promos that I really, really care about. There's probably a few others that I missed, but these are the ones that like, I really want to see back. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. 
Comment down below. Let me know what promos you'd like to see as well. Obviously, I want to see a few more. Just remind me of something that I may have forgotten of or it's been years since we've seen. That would always be super cool. I always enjoy that. But, guys, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.